Hello, today we are going to look at markup area in MS Word 2016. Now, the markup area is a feature in MS Word that enables you to add comments and also keep an eye on changes that has been made to your document. So after working on maybe your assignments or your final year project work, and you want somebody else to proofread what you've done, uh, to identify the mistakes you've done during your work. The person after reading, after going through your document, can add comments to your work to enable you locate the exact points in your works that you've done mistakes. So that is the use of what? The markup area. It helps you to add comments, okay? And for you to track your work, the changes you've done in your work. That is the uh, importance of the markup area in MS Word. So quickly, let's look at how a markup document looks like in Word. So this is Word 2016. So this is how a marked up document looks like. So on the right hand side of the opened window or the word window, you can see the comments. As soon as I move the cursor over it, you see it is displaying as change. It is telling you the time the comments has been was given. So for over here, it has been 37 minutes ago. And the comment here is telling you to add what? A title. And if you look at the direction of the red line, it is over here at the beginning. So you see the first word has been highlighted. Okay, then when we move on to the second one to tells you that you have to change that word, the spelling is what's wrong. Then the third comment is also telling you that that particular line has to be what? Deleted because it is not necessary. Then the other one is telling you to put a full stop at that point. So this is how a marked up document in Word looks like. So how do you do this yourself? If you want to uh, add comments to your work or you have proofread, you have proofread somebody's document and then you want to add corrections, you want to tell the person that this portion of the work has not been done well, do this here, add this, delete that. How do you add that to your document? So quickly, you open a new document. So we move on to the quick access toolbar. So this is where I can click for a new page to be what open for me to work. Now, you see this small arrow. If you don't have your showing here, just move the cursor to this small arrow over here. And then because I have added it to my quick access bar, it has been ticked. So anytime you add, you see it tick over there. So if I add that, you see it's gone. So now we've added it and it's there. So you click and then you select your new blank document. Now I have a text. So over here, you if you don't have this, you can just type the document you want to add comments on. But I have some. So I'm just going to select everything and then I'll paste that. So let's go and paste that to our Word document. Yes, so I've pasted this. Okay, so for this, I want to uh, alert the author that he or she has to add a title at the top over here. So you just click where you want to add your comments and then you go to the review tab. On the review tab, you click on what? new comment you click on new comments when you click on that yes it has displayed so you can now add whatever you want to put over there so here i want to indicate that a new title must be what added or just add a title and okay we are done with that so that is it if i want to Maybe a line. The grammatical structure is not good. So I'm 
Good. So you are just telling the person that the grammar there is not so okay. Now, what about a paragraph? And just select the whole paragraph and then you click on add new comment. And then you can add whatever you want to add. So I want to let the person know or myself that later on when I'm working on this document, I have to delete this portion of the work. And so that is how you can add comments. So you can go along and then if the document has much text in it, you can go along and then you add your comment. Now, when you have done this, you are not done. If you try to print this, the markup area will be shown. So let's look at the print preview of this document. So as you can see, you can see the markup area is displaying. But we don't want that to be so. Okay, we don't want this to show this way. We just want to be able to print our document. So what do you do? So let's see. So after you have done the corrections to your document, you have indicated what you are supposed to do, you can just delete your markup area. If the comments added to the work are not so plenty, what you can do is I can just delete them individually. So as you click here, you just go to what? Reject and it's gone. The same thing applies here and then you are done. So after deleting that, you see your document become what? Single. There's nothing attached to it again. But what if the comments are so many? For instance, if it's your project work, it's not just going to be a page or two pages. It's going to be a lot of pages. So what do you do? So what I will advise you to do is that where the changes have been indicated for you to do. So for instance, the first one is telling us to add a title. Just click over there, then you add your title. So good. Add your title and then do the necessary corrections you are supposed to do. Okay. And the next one is saying what? Check grammar. Okay, this is not so way. So you just let's just leave that. And then this one, we have to delete this whole portion. All right, so let's delete this. Okay, so I've deleted that section of the work. And then here, check grammar. Let's just say I've done it because this is not in English. So after you are done with all the corrections you are supposed to do, you can just go to this drop down box and then you select no markup. When you do that, all the comments added to the work will be gone. So now let's look at our print preview. And then yes, you have your work. You can just print your work now. I hope you have found this useful. Thanks for watching.